morning guys. Uh, today we're going to be going over your guys's practice test. So this is for Thursday the 19th. Today you guys will be taking your practice test to prepare for your test tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to go over a few questions with you guys to kind of help navigate you through this. So the first one is, I know you guys don't have access to base 10 block, base 10 blocks, that's okay. If you have to draw them out, feel free to do that too. That's what I did up here. So the first question is, grant me a model of 21 times three using uh, blocks. How many tens blocks did he use? So when you guys are taking your test, please make sure to pay attention to what blocks they're asking for. So they're asking for ones, tens, or even hundreds. So in this question, it's asking for tens blocks. So if we're doing 21 times three, our model for just one is going to look like this. But if we do three of them, that's going to represent the multiplication sentence of 21 times three, which equals 63. So when you lay all of these out and it asks how many tens blocks did he use, all you gotta do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, for this, he uses six ten blocks to complete his answer. All right, so that's one question I wanted to go over. If you wouldn't mind scrolling down, we're gonna go to the second one. I'm gonna use my annotator for this. Perfect, so if the question is 21 times four, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure our problem is stacked. So on your guys' practice test, it might already be stacked for you, it might not. I'm just gonna walk you through if it's not. So 25 times four, we're gonna stack it just like this. We're gonna go four times five, that's 20. Year zero goes in the ones place. Year two goes up top in the tens place. Then you're gonna multiply diagonally. Four times two, that's eight. Plus two, don't forget to add that, is going to be 100, all right? Not too bad, just make sure we're stacking our problems. Oops, wrong button. All right, and then if you wouldn't mind scrolling down to the last one, please. Perfect. So it says, at snack, six children ate a bag of hot Cheetos. Five children had cookies, three children had Twinkies, and two children had pretzels. If each child eats the same snack each day for five days, how many snacks will be eaten altogether? Now this kind of has to do with the lesson that we talked about yesterday. We're given a lot of information but we just take that information and we condense it down a little, okay? So, it says at snack we have six children, eight bags of hot Cheetos, okay? So we're just gonna put HC, and then we had six. Five children had cookies, we'll put C for cookies, a five right here. Th three children had Twinkies, all right, a T for Twinkies, and a three, because that's how many kids had them. And two had pretzels. So, it says, if each child eats the same thing for five days, how many snacks will be eaten altogether? Now, this is gonna be a four step, or I'm sorry, a five step problem, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply each of these numbers by five. Okay, so these are gonna be four of your five steps. So six times five, that equals 30. Five times five is 25. Three times five is 15. And two times five is 10. Okay, so now it's asking how many snacks will be eaten all together? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these four numbers and we'll add them all together. All right, zero plus five plus five plus zero, that's 10. So your zero goes down here. You carry your one up top to the tens place. Then you're gonna go one plus three, that's four. Four plus two is six. Six plus one is seven. And one plus seven is eight. So 80 will be all of the snacks that the students ate over the amount of five days. So that's gonna be like your four word problems on the back side, okay? Everything else is gonna look very similar. It's gonna be all multiplication, um, and then it's gonna also talk about base 10 blocks, which I know you guys feel super confident with. 
Um, when you guys are finished with this, it's still an assignment. Please take a picture and send it to your teachers. Um, so whether it's Mrs. Beaver, Mrs. Turk, or myself, please send me so we know that you guys did it. And then if you have any questions, attach the questions with it, okay? Uh, have so much fun. Bye, guys.